In this tutorial, let's have a look on a step-by-step -step through the creation and customization of an advanced installer architect project that produces an app v4 or 5 package. So let's suppose we just need to add some files, some registry values um, and other information to our package. But first let's start advanced installer and then uh, we will choose an architect project type, which we talk about a click. Uh, and it would be a good idea at this point to save the project. So let's say this is our AppV project, save it as it is. And then let's add some details to the application. Let's say this is our sample AppV application with version 1.1.0 and whatever else uh, you wish to add here, such as support link or product link and so forth and so on. Now, the next step is to add the files and folders that composes your application to the project. So let's go to the files and folder page and we can either drag whatever file we want to add here. Either we can click on add files and if I go on my desktop, I can choose my hello world. Of course, you can add many other files, right? Uh, but we are not done yet. Uh, I want to have a shortcut for this file here. So right now we can right click the file, new shortcut to install file. Uh, the name of the shortcut will be uh, sample app v package. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And we can click OK. And now if we go to the shortcuts tab, you can see our shortcut here. Next, if we want to modify or add some new registry, we go to the registry page. And as you can see, we do have some default registries that are created during uh, project creation, such as the path and the version of this particular software. Uh, if we want, we can add uh, other values here for example uh, let's say i want to have i don't know an app setting right um, and let's say it's one as a string right so this is some setting some random setting to our application uh, if you want, you can also create new files and sections and uh, make file associations. We can go to the file associations page and we can use the new extension, which applies on the hello world.txt. And let's say our extension name is for whatever reason .edi, right? And now if we create a new .edi file, this will open it automatically with our hello world.txt. Next, after you've done all the necessary adjustments to your package, you need to go to the builds page. Use the app v build for four or five. Uh, let's say we will create a 5.x build. Uh, and for this tutorial, we can leave the default values that you have here, right? Uh, so we will support all operating systems. Uh, if this is a standard package type and so forth and so on. Good. Now that everything is done, let's save the project once more and click on build. Keep in mind that you can also create app v packages when you repackage something with advanced repackager. Uh, you can also create app v builds directly for MSI. So you can, if you have an MSI, you can right click it and create a new uh, app v build. And as you can see here, we also have the MSI X build. Uh, which is the exact same scenario that you see here. You can either open an already existing MSI and, be, and create the MSIX build in it. For example, let's create another build for MSIX, right? Or you can create as here a new MSIX build for one package only. So you can have one project, multiple builds directly from the graphical user interface. But I don't want this build here, so let's delete it. And if I remember correctly, I think I've built it, but let's build it once again. And if we click here, we have our app v package created.